You know, I think uh, since the beginning of last year, AI has entered, I would say, the living rooms of everybody, so everybody talks about it. In fact, the technology is uh, more than 40 years old, and uh, we've deployed it uh, for uh, more than uh, um, a decade in our products um, in, in respect to real engineering challenges that are out there to uh, drive down CO2 emissions of uh, our customers in, in the industry, in infrastructure, in buildings, and in data centers. When it comes to what we're saying, uh, able to optimize production uh, can play a key role in the early stage development. These are some of the comments you've made when it comes to green hydrogen so far. This is a technology that is not at the point where we need it when it comes to delivering sustainable solutions. So what is the pace that AI can bring to that transformation? I think AI is an accelerator, absolutely. But uh, the you know you speak about uh, hydrogen and other um, you know new technologies. We have technology available today uh, to bring down CO2 emissions by 70 percent. So it's about a fast deployment of those technologies, and um, it's not only on the energy generation side, but it is also on the user side, on the demand side, where actually 55 percent of the problem um, resides. I spoke to one executive here on the mountain and they were saying, look, COP28 actually did help us to rebuild trust. The fact that a lot of big energy players were in the room, part of the conversation, and he was hopeful that Davos could build on that. What do you think in terms of where we're at, in terms of building some sort of consensus so we have the energy solutions of the future at pace to get us there before 2050? So, in, in fact, you know, coming from COP28, uh, it was good to have businesses at the table. At the end of the day, were people to make things happen, and there was good dialogue. Um, so, in, you know, speaking with many leaders here, you know, one of the things for CEOs to take away is that technologies are available to to drive it down. And I have. Uh, I, brought quite a few examples to tell people how to do it, you know, and, and uh, be it in an industry sector in Singapore, we have a client that is actually ne negative in the pharmaceutical market or, uh, you know, customers that have hotels that are 600 years old that have refurbished, bringing down energy consumption by 40 percent in the foreseeable future. If everybody would embrace in this direction, I think we're, we're on a good uh, track. This in a world where we have had high interest rates, high credit costs, how have you managed to convince businesses and clients to spend that money at this point in the cycle? You see, we also have high energy costs in many, in many countries, and people have seen over the last two years that a resiliency is important and that they need to work on their business model to be sustainable uh, for many, many years. And sustainable, I mean, in this regard, profitable, but also show their clients that they take efforts. From that perspective, you know, the solutions I've been talking about, they have payback periods of two to three years, uh, everybody who's in business, you, you, you table an idea with a payback period of two to three years. People say that makes a lot of sense to implement. You have a vision too when it comes to European approach to energy. You've called for a deeper political union on this policy to harness tax incentives across the block. That sounds incredibly challenging. Just spell out the vis vision first before I, I try and challenge you on this. So, you know, if you, um, uh, if you look at it, we can, we can offer solutions. One of the things we, uh, we found when we were with the International Energy Agency in Versailles in July, um, we had lots of politicians uh, uh, with us, and the, the understanding of what's available, um, you know, can be enhanced, and that's uh, work that we need to do. And then country by country, uh, jurisdiction by jurisdiction, find out what are the ideal solutions that, you know, if uh, with a little bit of push and a little bit of policy uh, can, uh, can scale. You know, we, we don't have solution where, um, uh, you, you know, you invest two, three, four billion and then all of a sudden afterwards it's, it's nice. People cut the ribbon and it looks very good. No, we have small solutions and we need to deploy them at scale.